So these are my ingredients for my biscuit. I have my hot pepper blend cheese right here. My milk and butter is still in the refrigerator because you want those to be cold. I have my self rising flour right there and ignore my water <laughs> and some scallions. So yeah. This recipe is for someone that's looking for something fast and easy to make. Um, clearly they're not the original you know, traditional biscuits, but they work and they're delicious. So this is my butter, nice and cold, and now I'm going to grate it. This is the side of my grater that I'm actually going to use. And this is this is what it looks like. It looks like it's a lot of butter because it's grated, but it's not, it's perfectly fine. I have the scallions down in here is some black pepper because I love black pepper and biscuits. Just That's just my thing. And then you wanna add the cheese and we're gonna mix this up. guys don't kill me but I accidentally lost the clip of when I was adding my milk I didn't add it yet at this point this is me just mixing the flour the cheese the scallions and all that stuff together but I lost the clip when I added the milk and basically you just add the milk and you keep mixing until you get this it's no rocket science to it it's you didn't miss anything just add the milk so now I'm choosing to use the muffin pans. I don't even know why I'm spraying it because the butter is already in the biscuit. But, you know, I just want it to be secure. Um, you don't even have to use a, a muffin pan. You can use a regular pan, whatever pan. You can even put this on parchment paper and throw it in the oven. And so you just want to drop them down just like this. And I'm going to pop them into a 425 degree oven until they're done. Remember to check my description box for ingredient measurements and times. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to move on to the eggs. So I'm going to make some scrambled eggs with some pepper, scallions, and cheese. Just pretty simple. I'm just going to break my eggs and beat them up <laughs> with some black pepper. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so now I'm just going to saute my peppers and my scallions in some butter just like this. You just want to cook it down for about two minutes just to soften them a bit. Next, add your eggs right down in here. A lot of people add milk to their eggs, but I'm not really a fan of that unless I'm going to bake it in the oven like a, you know, like a muffin. And then um, I'm going to add the cheese, half of the cheese, and then I'm going to mix this up and just allow it to gently cook. Just let it, let it cook. <laughs> so I had some beef sausages in the freezer. So I'm also going to cook that up for my husband. Just like this on both sides. Just so it's cooked through. There's nothing to this part of it. These are what the eggs look like. They're still soft. Super soft. But I'm going to cut the stove off. And I do that because, you know, the pot is hot. If you keep cooking your eggs and leave it in a hot pot, they're going to be overcooked. And yes, you can overcook eggs. Top it with the rest of the cheese and just set it aside. These are what the beautiful biscuits look like. They're so pretty and they smell so, so good because of the cheese and the scallions. And they pop right out really easily. See, I didn't even need to spray. <laughs> I didn't even need to spray, but... And it was hot at this point, too. I don't know what's going on with me and my bionic fingers. But look at the melty cheese on the inside, the scallions. And it's just so flaky and just good to go. Now, look how perfect the eggs are. The cheese is nice and melted on top. It still looks fluffy and it doesn't look hard. And again, this is why I cook it the way I do. So I'm just going to put a biscuit on a plate. And that's it, y'all. I'm going to hand that to him. I'm going to sleep. But thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye, you guys.